Are you while you're recording? Good evening and welcome to another episode of Let's Play um, Crusader Kings 2 with me, Charlotte, uh, from CNC Gaming Factory. Um, now we are on episode 16, I believe. Um, and yeah, we have we have the Kingdom of Sweden, or Swithjord. And I, before I started recording, I was having a little look around, um, you know, where we can attack and where we can expand. Now, all of this is currently um, off limits because we're not neighboring in it. So we got the Kolas army up here that we can attack, and Arninen over here. But then, out of just curiosity, I wanted to check the troop levy of King Ingemar of Denmark. Do you see that? It is 662. And we have a du jour claim um, over here that is uh, supposed to be a part of us. And I also double checked, he has not a single ally. So I say, let's go for it. We have an extra bonus because we've improved relationship with him. So hopefully he won't hate us too much. But we're, we're, we're getting slowly to the stage where we can basically not fear Norway and Denmark as much, uh, which is a good place to be in. He has a 10,000 10, as his top uh, levy, and Norway has 8,000, whilst we have, let's have a quick look, 6,000. So should they decide to attack us, it won't be too bad because we can hire in mercenaries to make that up for that difference. So I'm gonna start the game. Um, now Norway's off to, off to do something. What's Norway doing? They're going they're going over for England for Leinster. So that's good. Uh, they have a truce with Scotland going on, so that's fine. So we're gonna declare war on Denmark. Um, I'm actually gonna do this all in one go. Uh, declare war, uh, and we're gonna do a du jour claim. Um, don't know if that makes much of a difference. And a toujours claim of Aninen. Alright, I don't have the Kingdom of Finland, do I? No, we're good. We don't want the Kingdom of Finland just yet. Since we have um, two sons. If I, I get two king king titles without having um, the... Uh, if I get two king titles whilst having Gavelkind, that'll split my empire or my kingdom up once I die. So in this case, uh, in the current situation, there's only one kingdom, which also encompasses uh, Finland over here. Um, so my second son would become a duke. So there we go. All right. So the guy over here, he still doesn't like having his tr <laughs> troop levies raised, but that's that's what you get for being part of uh, of uh, uh, a Norse culture, I guess. Actually, I'm gonna. Have these guys go meet up over here. They can go take Aninen. He's gonna actually try and take that one out. So everybody meet over there, and you step down as well. I don't want them coming for my troops just yet. And you guys can raise your boats. Um, embark on them as well. And send them over there. With the levy that we get from the from mainland Sweden, we should be ha we should have enough to take on Denmark, no problem. And then we can split up our troops, you know, because we have so many. Uh, we can split them up a little bit so that we um, do the conquest a little bit faster. I'm gonna stand down those boats for now. Can I actually get any retinue? Uh, 1k. What does... I don't see any special retinue. Oh wait, there we go. Heavy infantry. Nope. I don't see any special um, Swedish infantry. Or retinue, I should say. So... So, hold on. He is... Oh, they're arriving in Möra. Okay. Well, that's fine. They can come. They're going to Blekinge. Um, let's merge these guys up. Okay, and let's go over there. Oh, what am I doing? I'm being silly. You guys go up there. And up there. 
and then we'll go for the capital next. And they're, they're attacking up there, that's fine. We'll take care of that in a moment. I think actually when we are done with Denmark we'll um, raise the boats and send them ar around because the travel time up here in um, basically anything outside mainland Europe I mean it's 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 you know it's sizable you know the same si it's it's much larger so the travel times are quite long um, oh I was apparently killing this guy he's been blinded and he's a eunuch uh, okay so who are we killing <laughs> oops was it my uh let's have a look We are killing. Oh, him. Uh, okay, Ingham of Denmark loves us, even though we're attacking him. Good. Awesome. So we let, we managed to kill him. And let's see. He is now. Wait, hold on. Let's see who's in charge down there. So it's his son. And he kind of likes us. Uh, my domain's apparently too big and I'm a homosexual. Homosexual, I can never do anything with. So, but the domain size too big, I'm going to sort out once we're done with these walls. Yeah, see, so he's attacking us over there. That's fine. I'm so tempted to hit the assault button, but must not do it. Oh, excuse me. Today's beverage is decaffeinated hot tea. So he's slowly reinforcing this uh, this thing over here. I w will actually. I actually think that that one that what one thousand levy that I have or retinue, it will make a difference. So once I've you know finished these walls, I I got to make notes for this because I'm sure I'll forget some. Um, oh, he's hired. Uh, Okay, we fulfilled our ambition to amass wealth. Okay, so he's hired um, um what you call it, um, mercenaries. So let's see. Just has a uh, still got land. Uh, so it doesn't matter. I have I have a river crossing no matter what. So let's take out his uh, troops. Get rid of them. Um, let's play ping pong for a little bit. They're ne nearly done sieging. Alright, awesome. So he's done. Let's go back up here and take that back and then... Awesome, I won. Good job. I'm going to turn it down the speed again. Um, join these two. Oh, my child likes a guardian. My daughter. Educate child. So I'm going to send it to a uh, duke with low opinion. Um, actually I'm going to do it slightly different. I'm going to go and check my realm tree and see him. He's the second most powerful duke. This, this duke has 98 opinion of us. He loves us. So he's never an issue. Um, it's the ones that are below 80 that have issues with you. So he is the second in line and he's the second most powerful so I will send my daughter to him to be educated um, educate child I kiss her so it was him, he had 56 opinion and that will put him at 76 and should he then become part of a faction of some sort then we can um, up oh, there we caught him. Then we can always send him a gift and he'll be uh, no problem. Alright, so we beat their troops there. Let's head over there. So he got his troops from Brugge down in Belgium. I don't know where he is going. But we'll hang out here for a moment and see. Okay, let's try and capture them. 8th of July, 9th of July. We'll just miss them by a day. Here they're going to Nerica.
And here's two walls. I don't know who. That's Kimi and Cola. And so they're fighting each other. Works for me. Okay, I don't know where you are going, but you are going there very fast. Now, since this was recently siege, we'll just assault through it. <coughs> Taking some losses, but not too bad. They're fighting each other. That's great. Saves me having to do it. Alright, so that's taken back, so let's go up and take Cola. And yeah, we could we could assault it, but yeah. Not worth the loss in troops. Um Okay, so he uh he caused some harm, but it's it's a it's a, a mayor or a baron mayor, actually. And it doesn't really matter. It's more we're more interested in the king's opinion. He's been doing a really good job about that. I don't know how a possessed man can do that, but he's doing a great job. Oh, we don't have enough troops. We are short um, about 400. <coughs> and we are done here. So let's raise some boats. Um, military fleet levies. Let's raise... Oh, let's see. Alt. Let's raise everything we have boat wise. Send them over there. Actually, we can send them into the harbor. And then we'll send our. Uh, yeah, we gotta send at least some of the troop, uh, troops over there to deal with that. So let's split it up. We just need 400. We can't. Okay, so. Alright. Okay. Okay, so Denmark is involved in a different war now. Um, what's what's that all about? Uh, Hamburg Revolt, Pomeranian Conquest. All right, works for me. They'll be busy for a little bit. <coughs> so we need. All right, so we have enough boats. Select so like units. We're going to send them over here to the Kolos army for right now. Um. Just stand all down all these boats. We don't need them. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> ah, yes, we should actually do that um, in friendly territory. Let's go send them over there and then stand them down. The reason why I don't want them raised is because they actually cost a considerable amount of money to um, keep up. So we'll do this. Okay, so we have uh, levy reinforcement rate is better. Oh yeah, see, I'm keeping holding on to all this right now. So this this guy down here, he's not happy with me. We gotta, we gotta get him replaced by, with a proper true Norse. Okay, come on. So they're trying to take over that piece over there, which we don't want. But we'll do it this way. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna boat bomb them. Oh, or not? So who's attacking him now? So, <laughs> so oh, this is silly. Yeah, I want to. I want to try and get this. His forces are now being decimated by the army from Brugge. Um, and they're actually coming this way now. Or are they going to Kemi? It's Kemi. They're going that way. All right, somebody died. I gotta replace them. Our chancellor. Um. I will make you Chancellor, I think. Um, yeah, you are so much better than everybody else. You're a little bit depressed, though. So I'm hoping that he, you know, making him Chancellor will make him a little bit more happy. So the possessed guy died. Um, you can go over to Norway and improve relationships there. So basically they're being knocked around by that army. Where did they go? 
Oh, they're down there. Now they're being knocked around by a different army. So basically, you know, we're getting war... Well, we're not getting war score, but we will be getting war score. Um, we're proud of our son um, for being just. But yeah, they're getting, we're going to be getting war score once we take the, the actual the goal, the goal up here. Uh, because somebody else killed their troops off. Poor people. And they're going over here to try and siege this back. That's fine. We are nearly done up here. Um, up here in the Kolos army. And then we'll just you know, throw these people onto the boats and send them back down there. Uh, we should be done sieging way before they're done. And with some luck we can just dock and then siege that. They've So they've rented in another another retinue. Or not a retinue, mercenary band. That poor guy. I feel, I feel a little bit bad for, you know, oh, he's Catholic. I don't feel bad at all. But yeah, to prey on somebody who who is, you know, obviously, only, he's obviously been toasted by somebody during something to only have 600 troops left. But that's what, you know, keeps getting done to me by everybody. So, hey, those, those are the, what is it, what's the saying? Those are the, I don't know. Such is life, especially back then. Them's the brakes. Them's the brakes, Chuck says over there. So yeah, we're just waiting, waiting for the siege. Come on, we can do it. Oh wow, they might. Oh, they've got uh, quite a bit of reinforcement down there now. Oh well, awesome. So we got that. We're going to embark these guys. And uh, in the next episode, I will go back and kick some Danish butt. Um, so I hope to see you then. If you liked this episode, please hit like. Um, if you like to see more of this and you want to be notified of when I have more Crusader Kings out, please hit the subscribe button. Um, and I will see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.